time, Margaret. Hello, thank you so much for your time. I wanted to jump in with a quick question on the animal that represents you. Your character identifies with a lion. Mm-hmm. So who would I, who, what would I identify with? Uh, well, I, I would love to be an owl because <laughs> I'm very happy at night and I've always wanted to be able to turn my head the whole way round. I think that would be a terribly useful thing to be able to do. I love as well as the, sort of, you know, the, the, the coziness of the owl in its tree, because I love trees, and also the precision with which you can seize some prey. You know, you look fluffy, but actually you can be quite ruthless when you want to be. Talking about <laughs> ruthlessness, your character has a streak of that. And I was wondering, do you think that um, people will view the character differently if it was a man playing your role? I wonder if, if in this particular uh, job, um, you know, and her hustle is, is, is becoming, you know, a, 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 to, all be, to all intents and purposes, legal uh, guardian of elderly people, you know, taking charge of their well-being, but, but she's doing it in a very unscrupulous way. So she's, she's getting the job um, in, by legal means, but then she, you know, completely oversteps the boundaries of morality. Now, I don't know how easy it would be for a man to be trusted in the way that she uh, is able to appear trustworthy. Um, and I think she preys on that. It's interesting, you know, like, like another character I played, Amy, Amy Dunn, who was able to manipulate people's perceptions of femaleness. You know, she was able to manipulatively present herself, Amy was, as a sort of um, abused wife and terribly vulnerable when she wasn't at all. Similarly, Marla Grayson is able to present herself as, you know, squeaky clean and friendly and innocent and full of charm and, you know, just the nice girl next door who's coming to just, you know, she's sorry that it's not kind of what you expected, but, you know, she'll make it all all right in the end. And of course she won't, but I think you know, she gets away with that because she can play on a certain type of femininity. Very briefly, talk about Isa. Uh, you two have such great chemistry on screen. Isa Gonzalez plays my wife in, 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 uh, in I Care A Lot. And it was really fun and rewarding to present a queer relationship on screen that was sort of, it, that wasn't, it wasn't about that. It was, there was no sort of sensational revelation of that fact. It was just, we meet these two women and you know, we find out that actually they're lovers and and it's handled in a very kind of cool, nonchalant way, which I really respect. And, and Aza and I had a great time working together. You know, they're a sort of, you know, they're a Bonnie and Clyde team. They're, they're two bad girls working who love each other, you know, and that's why nothing is black and white. You know, even just like Marla says, you know, my character says, when she says, you know, you can't be, can't take pity on all old people, even sadistic, immoral assholes get old, you know, so, so too with like, you know, even the really bad people in life, somebody loves them, you know, and that's what you've got Marla and that's why you've got Marla and Fran, you know. There's a scene of you on a bike exercising and it is so feral. Um, Mm -hmm. What do you do to release the tension? Because her character really looks predatory while she's exercising. <laughs> it's sort of like a praying mantis position on the spinning bike. I, I, I found that was a revelation to me. I'd never spun before. Um, but I could see, like, in the, you know, especially that kind of spinning in the dark room with the techno music, and it's almost like a kind of weird cultish, like, cross between a rave and church. I was like, oh, I could get into it. <laughs> Is, I love that. Um, but I, I didn't, and I, but I, but it, it was great to give me a sort of body predatory body language for Marla. But um, let me ask um, you: I, I swim and I run and I do Pilates. That's my that's my. Uh, as my we finish, routine. very quickly, and ride, ride horses, ride horses. Um, just a, a sentence about Wheel of Time, which is your next project. Can you give us any insight into your character and what that's about? The Wheel of Time is set in a world um, where women have a power that men have in the past abused and been uh, it's been taken away from them 
so it's 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 a very it's a it's a world in which the most powerful beings are women and that was obviously very exciting and enticing uh and um and i play a, a, a woman called moraine who is a bit like in the way that Gandalf was to Lord of the Rings, she she is the guide character in this series. So she's the stranger who comes to town, in this case, a very quaint, charming village called the Two Rivers. And she changes the lives of five friends forever by taking them on this quest for, uh, well, to to either make or destroy the world. We will find out. Thanks for your kind right. words. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.